Hello, everyone. Good evening. Welcome to another video tutorial. And in this video, we shall be dissecting the XEU USD chart from a technical standpoint uh, as we get, get prepared for the new week. Well, um, the first thing I would like us to do here is to have a snapshot of um, the key moments we had last week. And since this is a follow-up detail to my previous analysis, it is important that we have an idea of where we are coming from as we get prepared for the new week. So on the XAU USD last week, I shared um, some couple of commentaries at the beginning of the week where um, we used um, simple structures to identify the potential move for the week. So we had this whole situation last week, and if you do want to have a look of how we took advantage of um, all the opportunities we had last week, um, you might want to check the link in the description box of this current video. And for those who are watching from my YouTube channel, you will be seeing this at the top right hand side of your screen. So with that being said here, I will be moving right into um, the current market structure where we shall be dissecting uh, what our expectations are going to be like for the week. So here we are on the daily time frame and the first thing you will observe on the daily time frame is the fact that price action has been bullish for how long that is is um, I think since October last year we have seen how um, price action had continued to find higher highs and higher lows in this market. And in a matter of fact, we had this um, ascending channel figured out after connecting the series of higher highs and higher lows in this market. And this further emphasized the level of um, buying strength in this market. However, things got a little bit more interesting during the beginning of the month of April, where we witnessed um the gold eating some new high so we had the first two thousand dollar level we had a two thousand and forty two dollar area then we had a two thousand and sixty eight so these were new eyes the market has found in the last couple of months however if you look at it closely you will see that um, price has been within a range actually between the two thousand and sixty eight and the one thousand $980 area to give us a, an insight into the indecision in this market. So from a technical standpoint uh, on the daily time frame, you would notice that um, the resistant line of that ascending channel has been a major barrier for buyers in the last um, two months, I think, um, since the month of March. As every attempt by buyers to break out of that structure has been met with strong resistance from the sellers. And the point here is, will this whole situation turn out to be a sell-off that will lead price back into the support line of that ascending channel in anticipation of another wave of bullish momentum? Or are we going to be seeing a situation where the support line of the ascending channel will be broken to the downside to insight is sell off in this market and to get things to get a better perspective into what is going on here um it's important that we scale down into a much more lower time frame where i will be sharing with you a very simple setup i was able to identify um that we can use to guide our trading activity for this week but before we go into the four hours time frame um i would like to share with you um the economic calendar as i was able to spool out some couple of macroeconomic events that majority in the market will be looking forward to so what the uh, macroeconomic events data gives us is an insight into what the sentiment in the market are and what majority are expecting which will also help us to time ourselves appropriately and position ourselves in such a way that we can catch any potential move and what I normally focus on the economic calendar are high impact events, which will be affecting, of course, the US dollar. So the first high impact event isn't coming until Tuesday, May 16th of, of next week, which is um, um, the retail sales 
uh, for the month of April. So this um, data is always released by the U.S. Census Bureau and it measures the total receipts of retail stores. So what this simply gives us is an idea into um, the consumer spending um, in the U.S. economy. Um, and it's also an indicator, yes, it's an indicator of consumer spending in the U.S. economy. A high reading is something positive for the dollar, while a low reading is something negative for the dollar. And as you can see here, we have the previous data at minus 0.6%, which is quite on the lower side. And we have a consensus projection of 0.7%, which is more to the high side, which might likely bring some um, bullish traction to the dollar, which we never can tell yet until we see how the market is going to be reacting prior to that event, during the event and after the event. So besides this on Tuesday, May 16, I don't think we have, okay, we don't have any other high impact macroeconomic event for the week. So we shall be focusing on the technical perspective, how the market will be anticipating this event. And let's see what we have on the four hours time frame. So scaling down into the four hours time frame, this was what I was able to spool out. And what I did here was to take into consideration trading activity throughout the course of um, April stroke this month. And it is quite obvious price action has been choppy. And then we have this supply zone around the $2,050 area, which has been a very strong selling niche in this market, as you can see here. Then we also have the demand zone since the beginning of the month of April, just right around that 1980, 1975 area, which has been a very strong buy niche in this market. However, at the beginning of this month, we saw this bullish traction, which actually moved to find the new high we saw at the 2068. And since then, price action has been dropping, falling into another phase between the 2045 and the $2,020 area. So now we have a new chopper situation that will be our center of focus for the week. So right now we have price action trading between the $2,045 and the $2,020 area. Now with the structure we have here, uh, one thing we will notice, despite the fact that price action has been choppy, you will notice that we have lower highs which gives us the trend line you see here, giving us a sign that there is a bearish momentum in this market within the old choppy situation. And you can see here we have lower lows too as well, giving us a descending channel sort of a thing. Then another thing here is the fact that price action broke down the um, this $2,020 level last week and we saw a sharp rejection of that structure. Could this be a sign that price action will be dropping to the downside this week, probably breaking down the $2,020 area back into the $1,980, where depending on how price action reacts to that level will determine what our next line of action will be. So going into the new week, I'm having the $2,020 area as my yardstick for trading activity. So as long as price action remains below that $2,020, I continue to look out for selling opportunities where a further breakdown, sorry, this was a typographical error. So where a breakdown of the $2,000 Mac will welcome more opportunities in this market. However, if it so happens that price action breaks out of the 2020 to the upside, we might likely be seeing some buy pressure here to incite another wave of bullish momentum. And depending on how price action reacts with that 2045 area which happens to be a very strong supply zone in the last couple of months will determine how we are going to be trading from that juncture then another thing i was able to do here is to scale down to a much more lower time frame, like the one hour time frame where i saw a descending channel which i think will be most appropriate to use for this week so we have the structure here um, after connecting the series of lower highs, as you can see, we have the resistant line of that channel and then the lower lows in this market. So I want to see how price action will be reacting to this current structure here 
just right below the $2,020 area during the early hours of the week to decide what our next line of action will be. So if price action continues to trade below, then we look out for more opportunities to sell. A further breakdown of the $2,000 mark will welcome more buying opportunity. But if price breaks above the $2,020, we look out for opportunities to buy. And as long as price action breaks out of that resistant line of that descending channel, this will give us more confirmation that buyers have finally come to stay. So these are my views here on the XAU USD, and be rest assured that I will be with you in the comment section on Monday morning after monitoring our participants in this market will be reacting to this current structure during the early hours of the new week. I do hope this video has been of immense help in making your personal decision on the XAU USD for this week. And if it did, kindly support this project by clicking the like button. You would also want to follow me on my trading view platform at Dark Sherry, just at the top right hand side of your screen right here, so that you can be part of the daily commentaries I normally share in the comment section of all of my videos. Thank you for watching and I look forward to seeing you right in the comment section on Monday morning as we get prepared for the new week. Do have a wonderful evening everyone. Bye bye.